good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever you find yourself. My name is Lalani Besaidner, the CEO of the Financial Planning Institute. So welcome to this week's update on current affairs. So let's have a look at what's happening at the Financial Sector Conduct Authority or the FSCA in South Africa. So last week the FSCA has issued three public warnings. And what I find interesting is that these criminals are using social media more and more to actually pull the wool over the eyes of unsuspecting consumers. So the very first warning that came out last week is against pro-tax rates and individuals who are falsely claiming to be representatives of the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. So I'll repeat that name. It is pro-trades and individuals who are falsely claiming to be representatives of the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. So what they're doing is they are sending an email from help at za-fsca.com where they then say, you know what, the FSCA is actually vouching for us We are fantastic and we invest in cryptocurrencies, we can double your investment. So the FSA did say, you know what, that is unrealistic. You cannot, um, you know, multiply your investment within hours. So the FSA confirms that neither ProTrades nor Phyllis Rapulu, I'll repeat those names, ProTrade or Phyllis Rapulu are authorized financial services providers. Then the second public warning that came out is where the FSA is cautioning the public to look out for a fraudulent WhatsApp group. You see, this is where that social media comes in. It's a WhatsApp group or the Facebook scam where we have um, some representatives claiming to be, you know, to represent Julius B. South Africa. Now, Julius B., who is a registered FSB in South Africa, came out and made it very clear that these people do not actually represent them. And what these people are doing is they are saying, you know what, we can actually offer you loans. So the South African real Julius B. South Africa PTY did say that these people do not represent them. The FSCA has all their warnings always saying to the consumer, please always phone our toll-free number or visit the FSCA's website to actually verify if somebody is a registered and authorized services financial services provider. The third warning is again where social media seems to be used, but this time it is uh, where they are using Telegram to say that they represent Fair Tree Asset Management. So watch out for all three of those those companies or those peoples are portraying um, that they're authorized. So I'll repeat the names: it's Pro Trades and Phyllis Rapulu. Then we have people. The second warning was individuals who say that they are from Julius B. South Africa PTY, but they are not. And they are specifically using WhatsApp and Facebook, whereas ProTrade is using an email. And then if we look at the third warning is where people are saying that they are actually from Fair Tree Asset Management and they are using a Telegram group. So watch out to warn your consumers, warn your customers. Then something else about the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. They um, declared the intention to issue a new interpretation note of Section 37C of the Pensions Fund Act. So what is Section 37C all about? Well, that's the section of the Pension Funds Act that actually deals with the distribution of death benefits um, from retirement funds. So the FSCA has announced an intention to issue a new interpretation ruling. There was one in 2020, which is IR 2020. And today, obviously, it's IR 2023 on the distribution of retirement funds under Section 37C. So all the notice is all about, it's basically just saying that unclaimed benefits um, that are already due and payable to the fund member does not form part of the funds that the trustees can look at to distribute to legal or factual dependents under Section 37C of the Pension Funds Act. So what will happen? Well, those funds will most likely be paid into the estate of the deceased. So the bottom line is the new interpretation rules clarifies that Section 7C does not apply to any unclaimed benefits. Now that IR 2023 is open for public comment, you are welcome to go to the FSCA's website to find documents open for consultation. Then from the FBI side, in closing, you would have seen an email from either Adele White or from Sima Nike and from the FBI where we're inviting you, the member, to join us for FBI network sessions during September and October. So we will be doing network sessions from Pretoria to Polakwane. 
Um, and during that time, I will spend an hour with you where I give you a high-level uh, regulatory update. And Adal White, yes, Adal White will be with you in person. And she will give you a little bit of an update with regards to especially the FPI's convention. If you've not registered for the FPI convention, please remember this convention is the FPI's professional convention that we are running for you. So please register, please support your professional body. We have in-person event, but you can also join us online. And the theme for this year's convention is Back to the Future. So please make sure that you join us. We have some fantastic international speakers in person at the Sandin Convention Center this year. You can actually meet them in person. So when is the convention? Well, it's 14 and 15 November. Should you wish to register, just go to www.fpi.co.za. Click on events and then register for the FBI's convention. We need your support and the convention cannot be a success without your attendance or without our corporate partner sponsorship. So with that, that's a wrap from my side for this week. May you have a fantastic week. And as we get ready to move into September, my colleague Nikki McDonald will give next week's update to you. Blessings and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.